Hello, you guys. Welcome to the World Library. So today's video is going to be a festive one. If you can't tell by my ensemble I've got going on, I've got some Mardi Gras beads and some Mardi Gras headgear that you could wear to the parades if you feel like it. But today's video is going to be another Mardi Gras book tag. So last year, 2017 Mardi Gras, I made a book tag, but I felt like changing it up and making some different questions. So this year, I'm coming to you with Mardi Gras book tag 2.0. So, if you like my videos, click the subscribe button down below and let's get to the video. So this year, the book tag is going to consist of like Mardi Gras symbols and things that have to do with Mardi Gras. Last year, it was just parades and I made bookish themed questions around the parade and its theme. But this year, I have symbols that have to do with Mardi Gras as well as a parade or two. So the first question is King Cake, a book or book series with a diverse cast of characters. And for this one, I'm going to go with Winter by Marissa Meyer. I'm going with this book in particular because this is the final book and it has all of the characters in it and this is definitely the most diverse cast of characters that I've ever read. We have Asians, we have Americans, we have a black girl who's winter, we have just a very very diverse group of characters and I think this one is a definite good answer for that question. And the next question is Parade Throws, the one book that made you cry and for this one I chose this question for Parade throws because sometimes you could not be paying attention and get hit in the head with a toy lifesaver like I did last year and it completely broke when it hit my head and it hurt so bad. But the book that I chose for this, the one that made me ugly cry, the one that I can remember the most recent is A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J Mass. I cried several times throughout this book and I just loved it so much. I can't tell you one specific thing that made me cry. It's just so many feels were wrapped up in this book and it was so good and I loved it so, so much. The next question is King, a great or funny king that is in any book or book series. And for this one, I'm gonna go with Prince Maxim who eventually becomes King Maxim. I just love Maxim so much and he is a really great dad in The Heir and The Crown, which is whenever he's actually king. And I just really like him as a person, but also as a royalty. And yeah, I have nothing else to say other than I love Maxim whenever he becomes a dad. I really should have chose the, the heir to hold and not selection, but yeah, King Maxim. The next question is royalty. A book or book series with the best line of royalty. This one was kind of hard for me because like I feel like I've read so many books with royals in them, but in reality, I've only read like two series with royals in them and it was like five books each so that's why it felt like I read more but I'm gonna go with Cinder just all the royals Queen Lavina is such a bad word <laughs> um, I'm not gonna say it here and Prince Kai and just all the royals I really like I don't know it, this one was kind of hard to choose but I choose the Luna I chose the Lunar Chronicle series just in general for this question so the next question is second line what book made you laugh the whole entire time or a good amount of the time so second line is this dance that we do and we like wave napkins over our head and we kind of just like parade around I don't think there's an actual dance to the second line I just know it has to do with like waving umbrellas or um, like napkins around your head so for this one I choose the nerdy and the dirty by BT Gottfried this one had me laughing uncomfortably the whole time. I really couldn't think of a book that had me laughing the whole entire time, but this one definitely I was uncomfortably laughing the whole time. The next question is Mardi Gras masks. So we love wearing like masks during Mardi Gras time. I don't have one to wear for you today, but what book series or book? It's usually a book series that this happens to. So what book series are you surprised got cover changes? And for that that was so easy and that is the winner's curse like trilogy oh my god okay so this is what the cover looks like all three books look exactly like this the other two are a blue dress and a red dress they're the most like beautiful covers that i've ever seen and this right here this is an example of what they changed them to and i hate it so much and i'm so glad even though i didn't even like this series i bought all three books because these covers are literally my favorite thing ever so i'm glad that the third book whenever it was published in hardback it was published in this pretty cover and not this ugly cover that one i was very 
very upset about. The next question is Flambeau, a popular book that you didn't like or one that you would risk first in a fire. So Flambeau are these guys that walk around with like sticks of fire in parades. I don't really know what the history is behind those, but they're literally guys that just walk around with sticks of fire. I don't know if they collect money or what they do, but this one I chose Fahrenheit 451, which is actually kind of appropriate because it has to do with guys with fire, but I really did not enjoy this book. I know a lot of people really, really love this book. I just could not get behind it. I don't know if it was because I had to read it by myself and I wasn't in a class setting where they explained it to us or what it was, I really did not like this book. So the next question is Mardi Gras Balls. A book or book series that had a crazy plot line. There were all kinds of twists and turns. It was the wildest ride in the wilderness. But for this one, I'm also going to go with the Lunar Chronicle series because because of the amount of different characters they have in this series, it's just all over the place. Everything is happening. It's so much is happening and it's just a wild, crazy ride. And I definitely suggest reading this though because it was still so, so good. All right, so the next question is kind of funny. It's flashing. So I'm sure many of you people who are not from New Orleans have heard that if you flash and show your boobs, people will throw you bees. That probably happens on Bourbon Street more so than it happens like with actual parades. But the question is, what is the most risque scene or scandalous scene that you've ever read in a book? No spoilers. So if you can just like say the book, but not any spoilers. And for this one, I'm also choosing A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J Maas. All I'm saying is this. That's all I'm saying. I'm not gonna say anything else. I'm not gonna give any spoilers away, but yes this. All right, the next question is alcohol. What is a book or book series that gave you the biggest hangover? So of course, you know, we from Louisiana, we drink alcohol at nine o'clock in the morning, walking down the streets. <laughs> like, yeah, it's okay to have open container walking around the streets. I know a lot of people are shocked whenever they come to New Orleans and they're walking around and people are walking around with their hand grenades. But yeah, we do that. And on Sundays, we can buy alcohol in the, in the shops. It, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So the book that gave me, I think, the biggest book hangover was Geekerella by Ashley Poston. I love this book so much. It was so, so, so good. One of my favorite reads of 2017. Yeah, I adore this book so much. I highly recommend it. It's a Cinderella retelling that has to do with, like, the internet and celebrities. And I just really love this book. I already want to reread it, and I already just read it last year. And the last question is Crew of Orpheus, which is a parade that happens the Monday, so Monday and the Monday before Mardi Gras. So it's Monday is Lundi Gras and then Tuesday is Mardi Gras. So Orpheus is like known for its really long parade floats. So the question is what is the longest book that you have ever read? And for me that is Winter with 830 pages, something like that. You would think, you would think that it was The Court of Mist and Fury because this one's so much bigger. I mean look at that. But no, these pages must be so thick because this is, this one is 200 more pages than this book. Can you believe it? I can't. These pages are like thinner than paper. It's unbelievable. But the longest book that I have ever read has been Winter by Marissa Meyer. So that was the Mardi Gras book tag. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I do want to tag a few people. I'm going to tag. The first person that I want to tag for this video is Whitney at A Darker Shade of Whitney on here on YouTube. She is also a fellow Louisiana YouTuber and I'm so excited that she found me on Twitter the other day and contacted me and was like, hey, I'm a fellow Louisiana booktuber. And I'm like, yes, booktubers from Louisiana, unite. So Whitney, I'm tagging you to do this video. Another booktuber on here that I want to tag that is also from Louisiana is Cassidy Vonich. Cassidy, I remember that you did it last year, but in blog form, and I really hope you do it again this year. And the third person that I want to tag to do this book tag is Kate on here as girl reading. She's also another booktuber who is from England and I really hope Kate does this even though she doesn't celebrate Mardi Gras like we do. I really hope that she does this book tag and I hope you guys enjoyed my video and I'll see you guys later. Bye! Thank you for watching! This hair is driving me nuts. It's flying into my mouth and I just can't handle it.